Um, now, I, I almost, I, the MVP of the week, it's time to move on to the MVP, and it's very tough because I think there's two guys that are absolutely deserving. So um, instead of diving into one, I'll, I'll just give brief overviews of both. And first one is Rafael Devers um, for the Boston Red Sox, third baseman. He's been an absolute stud over the last week. Five straight games with home runs, tying Bobby Dahlbeck's uh, record. Phenomenal stuff from Rafael Devers and quite a, a happy sight for Boston fans, right? It, it was kind of some question marks of what's going on with Rafael Devers. Is he still the same guy? If you bought low on Devers, good for you because I, I think most of this, most of us knew this was still coming. He doesn't just forget how to hit after being such a steady producer over the last four or five years. So um, yeah, Rafael Devers has been hot. And then the other one, Gunnar Henderson has been phenomenal. Um, he now is tied for the league lead in home runs uh, with Kyle Tucker. So he had an absolute missile in uh, uh, into the opposite field um, yesterday to in the ninth inning. Um, and he's just he's been finally the guy that I think everyone was hoping that he was going to be coming out of the minor leagues. Right. He came up around the same time uh, with Corbin Carroll. And there's a lot of Cor Corbin Carroll versus Gunner. Last year looked like Corbin took, you know, took the reins on this, that one. Now it looks like Gunner is, is clearly in the lead. Right. And so it's just been kind of this weird back and forth between them. But Gunner Henderson is is scorching hot right now. And um, yeah, certainly, certainly a guy that you would love to have on your team. But you're probably not going to be able to trade for him because the owner will say no way. So those are my MVPs of the week, Rafael Devers and Gunnar Henderson, just absolutely mashing, um, not speed guys, but just absolutely mashing the baseball. We love to see it. Finally, the lock of the week. Um, this is a guy who is probably on most uh, fantasy rosters, who probably on the bench, maybe starting for some teams. Um, and this is a guy that I, I think, a lot of people may question or or seem a little odd, but um, I'm going to roll with it this week. And I know even some he's been dropped in quite a few leagues, and that is Jackson Churio for the Milwaukee Brewers again. Um, it, it's tough for me to to justify it over the if you look at the whole season numbers, but the reason that I think I can is the last five games he's looked much better. He, he's raised his average twenty points. Um, he's six for sixteen. He's got a home run and. I do want to, you know, th there's a lot to be said about he's probably still getting comfortable, right? And we know now, so Reese Hoskins is on is on the injured list. So, you know, Churio is going to see some playing time. Bowers is, is going to have to take over that first base role. Um, and so Churio is going to see some corner outfield time. The other options have not been playing well. So he's certainly been the best of the worst options. And I think the fact that he's locked in for some playing time and the fact that he you know, the last five games has, has really kind of looked a little more comfortable. I'm not saying he hasn't looked comfortable, but he, you know, he's been producing um, and he's, you know, power speed threat, right? Five home runs, six steals so far this season. That's phenomenal for, for a rookie, you know, that we saw this last year, I think with Anthony Volpe, right. And, you know, I, I don't think that Churio is going to finish as bad as Volpe. I say bad, but Volpe still went 2020. Um, I, I, I would anticipate that's the kind of season that we'll see from Churio. Maybe his average isn't there, but I expect some some weeks where his power's there and his speed's there. He's an uber talented guy, someone that just because the surface numbers don't look great in his first, you know, month, month and a half of the major leagues, right? He's He's a young kid. I'm not writing him off by any means. I think that would be silly. If you had dropped him already, I don't blame you. But at the same time, if he's still on your roster and, you know, especially in a five out field, field league or something or anything bigger than a 12 team league, you absolutely should be starting him. And if your outfield's weak or you're not sure between him and someone else, I would probably be leaning Churio because, again, he's going to get the playing time. He's looked a little bit better. And, um, I, I just the talents there. It's absolutely there. I'm not writing him off. He's got all of the skills. If you could even buy him cheap or pick him up, um, absolutely would be willing to do that. So again, just a quick recap. Um, some headlines: Jung Hu Lee out for the season. Miguel Vargas is up, and Jeffrey Springs is a guy you should be paying attention to. Um, waiver wire pickups were Joey Ortiz and Luis Matos. Pitchers to stream: Cal Quantrill um, and Simeon Woods Richardson. And then MVP of the week, Rafael Devers and Gunnar Henderson. Both of them deserve some flowers right now. So 
gave it to him. And then lock of the week, Jackson Churio. And that'll do it for another episode of the Just Fantasy Baseball Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please uh, give us a follow, subscribe, let us know in the comments if you have any questions. We're always, um, you know, taking mailbag questions and mock trades and stuff like that. So um, we love interacting with fans and, um, yeah, look forward to answering some questions and uh, hopefully help you guys win some leagues. So um, look forward to hearing from you guys uh, and everybody. Take care.